What is up, guys? Back again with another video. Um, I, I can't speak English. Oh my god. Um, so, sorry, I'm just gonna sit on my bed. Um, so there's a special guest coming. She's coming soon. I don't know when. Oh my god, it's so cold. Um, so, that is that. And she's gonna film with me. It's gonna be crazy. Yep. Alright. See you guys when she gets here, I guess. My parents are gonna film. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. This is my special. special I can't talk. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not an English channel anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, um, this is my special guest. What's I'm your actually, name? Actually, I'm dead inside, and yeah, I like memes. Yeah. And TikTok memes, they're the best. Alright. Today, we're doing a video, obviously, because we're filming it. What are we doing today? We're going to go back and forth, and I'll ask you a question on that, like, an opinion, and then you'll ask the same question back. We're just going to go back and forth, like... You ask an opinion, and I'll answer it, and then I'll ask you the same question. You share your opinion, and then, like, or, and then we can switch again. Like, I'll ask you, and then you ask me, and I'm just switching it. Yep, that's what we're doing. And the disclaimer is, you might get offended by this video because this is our personal opinion. So, if you get offended, then, well, oh well, because it's just our opinion. So, we have freedom of speech. Okay. <laughs> Let's just start. Okay, oh. I'll start. Okay, so the first question, like, I know the question. It's okay, so what's your opinion on Donald Trump building a wall? Um, I think it's a good idea, but it's also... Alright, I think it's a good idea because I don't want, like, immigrants just, like, killing us for no apparent reason, so, you know, because, like, there was this girl running, and this immigrant shot her, so, yeah, people are just crazy, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so my opinion is, I ha- I kind of agree with, like, Julia, but at the same time, like, I kind of don't, because, <sighs> okay, so, I think it's a good idea, but at the same time, I think it's a bad idea. I think it's a good idea because um, President Trump is trying to, you know, keep um, our, like, you know, our state, not state, I'm stupid, our country safe. So, yeah, and the immigrants, like, in the news, you hear, like, immigrants are, like, killing people. And then there's this girl a couple of months ago. She was on a jog, and an immigrant killed her. So, and he was illegal. He came to America, no paperwork, no nothing. So, that's why Trump is building a wall, because he's just trying to keep the American people safe. At the same time, I disagree, because the immigrants are in danger, because gangs are going after them, and they're just crying for help. And it's just heartbreaking to see kids, like, crying and stuff. So, it's just sad, but at the same time, it's good that he's making us safe, but at the same time, it's not that great for the immigrants. I just believe that, like, maybe, like, when they get to, like, the wall, maybe they'll have, like, a booth or something, and they should, like, maybe sign some papers. Yeah, it'll take a while, but, like, they'll probably get at least half of them in within, like, just, like, a bunch of border control people there, like, They'll probably get at least a quarter of them in by the end of next year if they go really quick about it. So, like, but, you know, they have, but, like, if they just sign the papers, papers, they'll, like, become, you know, like, an American citizen. They could do that. Or they can still sign papers, and then when they get into America, they'll have to go to a different place, and they'll get transportation for free to go there and then sign the rest of the documents and if they have any medical stuff like 
they'll address it to the border control and they will help them because the border control like maybe it was last week i don't know there's a seven year old girl and she died because she was really sick and the border control i think they marked her as healthy but she wasn't healthy at all and just started throwing up and put her in a hospital and she died the next day so it's just sad but I just think the wall is good at the same time. I think it's terrible, but you know, that's my opinion, so. Yeah. Okay, you can ask me a question. I mean, not a question, an opinion. I mean, oh no. I mean, question, okay. I, I'm so sorry that I'm cringy and garbage on this. So. I'm sorry that I can't think it's the I, weekends and like. It's, just, you know, really awkward when it comes to talking. Okay, I guess I'll ask. Okay, what is your opinion on guns? Um, I'm glad that people should have a license, and I'm kind of scared that, like, I always walk into school and just like, okay, like, a couple of weeks ago, like, two weeks ago, there was an unexpected lockdown drill, and I got so scared. Um, so, like, I'm glad that we all got, like, to the corner safe. And, like, there's this girl in the bathroom, and I hope that she knew what to do. Like, I thought that they didn't say lockdown. I thought they didn't say drill. I thought it was just a lockdown. So we got so scared. I was just like... Like, are we going to die? Am I going to die? I have many achievements in this future. I wanted to achieve my dream to become more better in YouTube. And I want to become a famous singer. Because I've been singing for like six or eight years. Like, that's what I want to do. Like, the shooters... Don't think about people's future. Like, people are ridiculous to yeah, see. I, I just have to agree with um, Julia. It's just that the people who are shooters, they, they need help. They have a mental illness. They really do. I just have to say it. Because they need help. They never got help. So they're like, oh, you know, it's not, you know what? I'm just going to shoot up the school. And then sometimes they just shoot up the school because there's bullies. Okay, like, I know there's bullies, but, like, if they're being cruel to you. Like... Yeah, report it and stuff. Maybe switch schools, do something. But, like, kill them? And then put other innocent lives at risk that didn't even bully you? And then what if you kill them? What are you going to do? You're just going to feel regret. If not, then you're just going to get killed yourself. Because, you know, the police will probably kill you. If not, you're just going to get the death penalty in jail. So, like, the guns... Like, I think that we should have guns in our homes to keep us safe. And we should use a weapon. Oh, like, and then, like, what are we supposed to, eat, to do without guns? Like, what if an intruder comes to the house? What, do we, what are we going to do? No guns? They're going to kill you. They're going to kill you. Because, you know, they, like, the people in jail can, like, escape. And then get access to guns so easily, and then you don't even have a gun, you're gonna die. You're gonna freaking die. Because, like, you have nothing to use. What, you're gonna use your fist? That's not gonna help. <laughs> exactly. You're gonna use a belt? <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna whip them. Not gonna help. Because they have a gun. Guns more powerful than a belt. So, yeah, and. I just think that our school should just boost up their security because, you know, it's just really sad that school shootings happen so often today. And we just want to go get an education, but instead we just have to live in fear of going to school every day thinking, am I even going to be, am I even going to walk out these doors alive or I'm just going to die? Like, you know, it's just sad that that we have to deal with this. And I'm scared Sorry, that guys. something will happen at my own school. So it's just really, really sad that the students have to just go through that. 
And I just feel bad for the students who like went through school, school shootings who either died or they just experienced it. It's just really sad and it's just bad. But like with the school shootings, but, but at the same time, it's great for, you know, for our safety because, you know, what if your family's at risk and they have a gun to like your mom's head or something? Like, what are you gonna do? You don't have a gun. Who they're gonna shoot you? Cause they have a gun, or they're just or they're just gonna shoot your mom. Cause you just like don't have anything. Like what? You need a gun to like shoot him. Like you need something powerful to defend yourself, and that's a gun. We should just put restriction orders on it. That's all. Like maybe change it up a little bit. By maybe restricting the age and like maybe kids just can't have guns because like 16 year olds are like going to schools and shooting them up like and then like sometimes they even get like fake IDs and they're and like pretend they're be like and they're pretending they're like 25 and they're actually 16 and they're just getting a gun so they should really do something about it because you know and kids with like mental order like disorders should like really be watched because you never know what could happen because those shooters did have mental like problems they really did and they need help and yeah that's my opinion yeah you only said like five sentences you said like 50 paragraphs <laughs> like i'm always writing essays i'm just like all right, I think I'm done. Yeah. And I got, like, two out of 100, you know? Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Do you want to ask one? Uh, I can't think of anything. Guess I'll go again for the third time. Um, what's your opinions on EODs? Um, I oh, think yeah. they're annoying. Oh, yeah, by the way, EODs means end of grade, so... And the great testing, so yeah. I think that we all lose our brain cells and we all go insane, and we're just like, like, we have like final, like, every single day. Like, I have Tuesday through Friday, so like, one is like math, and then the next day, so studies. Like, you can't just study, like day before, you know? Because then we're just like, am I going to fail this? No. Am I going to pass this? And not go to summer school and survive? Or am I am going to go to survive. summer school and... <laughs> and not survive? <laughs> well, okay. Um, so my opinion is that I think the EOG is, is horrible because the government... They just basically, they're not going to tell you this, obviously, because, you know, they're a government. They're sneaky people. So, they're just using the EOGs to just brainwash kids' minds. And it's just sad that they're just making us learn stuff and just tricking us to do this for stupid testing. And then we have to learn about EOG crap in school. Like, that's so dumb. Like, they're just brainwashing the kids and, like, learning useless stuff. We, need, we should be, like learning actual real stuff we need in real life because like it's just putting out more time like the more time we spend with the EOGs the less time we'll learn life skills at school like how to do taxes you know crap like that like you know like it's just so dumb that the government made this up and they're just ruining kids lives and like some kids actually like the EOGs I don't know why, but they just do, that's their opinion, but it's just, just so dumb, and then we have to just sit in, like, a room for four hours, just mm -hmm. taking a stupid test that is so useless and dumb, and torture, it, and apparently defines you, and it's so dumb, it's, like, defines you, because they're like, oh, if you get a one or a two, you're dumb, if you get a three, you're pretty dumb, and then four <laughs> and five, you're smart, so it's just sad, because... And then, it's just sad that 
kids have to go through that, and when they get their scores back, they're like, yeah, I'm a failure. And then their confidence just goes down and down and down and down like mine. So, it's just sad that the government is doing this to us, and they're just teaching us useless stuff, and they're brainwashing kids. So, and I just feel bad, like, for the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh and 12th graders because they have to go through it every year okay so what's your opinions on jojo siwa i think that she's annoying like you know all you jojo siwa fans don't hang on me that's my opinion okay yeah Okay, my opinion And I think that she's just like she has like this big bow like on her head like are you six years old? Like how old like you're freaking fifteen, you know? You gotta act to your age, you know? You gotta be more mature than that. Well, like before she started like making stuff for Party City and like clothing and crap, she I figured that she signed a contract or whatever and she had to pick an audience which she was like facing like do you want to face kids like little kids teenagers and like who do you want to like you know be the audience to and she picked little kids because she probably loves little kids so that's why she probably dresses like that just like little kids like literally like glitter stuff so she looks like them and not like wearing a crop top or whatever because like i guess like She's a pretty good influence on them. Like, she's all positive and smiles, like, a whole lot. It's just, like, maybe put her hair down a little bit. I know, like, it's iconic, like, her, like, putting her hair up in a ponytail. But, like, her hairline's just going back and back. It's, it's going to ruin her hair. And then she doesn't, like, it's just going to look so bad when she gets older. Like, she just keeps on doing that. Maybe just, like, let it down every once in a while. Like, maybe days she isn't, like, meeting fans or, like, doing concerts, like, those, like, just relaxing days. Like, even in videos, like, who cares if her views, like, go down just because her, like, her hair isn't up in a ponytail. Sorry, guys, that's my dog. He wants to come. I'll be right back, guys, sorry. It's just... That's why she gets so much hate, and I just don't like that she talks extremely, ugh, like, really loud. Like, it hurts, like, it just hurts some people's ears. Like, maybe she just lower her voice a little. That would be good. And then she's talking way too fast. Like, slow down. Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe she has a speech disorder. I don't know. But, like, she kind of talks a little different. Like, she has a kind of a high-pitched voice. Like, I have one, too, but hers is a little bit deeper, but at the same time, it's, like, you know, I don't know, but that's mm. why she, and, like, her music, like, I listen to it, it's like, little kid music, like, little kids will enjoy that, like, not teenagers, okay, like, it's, like, I saw the music videos, the dance is good, I guess, but, like, the song in general is kind of bad, but, you know, it's at the same time like kind of like you know something that you remember i guess but at the same time songs are kind of bad and you know that's why she is like that because her audience is towards little kids so that's why she dresses like them because she wants like you know to dress like little kids so Instead of, like, wearing a crop top or whatever, so, like, the little kids won't, like, like, you know, what I mean, like, grow up. Because, like, kids these days grow up way too fast wearing crop tops and, like, this crap. Like, it's just sad. Like, why can't you just act your own age like kids these days? Like, she was just you. She's fine. It's just, like, everybody else should just, you know, like, they can wear, I know, they can wear whatever they want. But, like, you know, it's just, like, just be your age, like. You don't have that much time left because before you know, you're just going to be off to college if you even go to college. And then, like, you're basically leaving, like, your parents' house, starting a family, married, and, like, you know, it's just going 
fa- like too fast and I just don't like it when like like you know just be your own age like don't act older like don't like if you're trying to act older just because you want to fit in like just don't like be who you want to be like don't like follow people like I wear whatever I want like I don't wear crop tops I don't I don't I like cover up like I don't wear like long sleeves I wear like short sleeves and stuff but like I don't really like showing my skin that much so like it's just my opinion so and I know I went off a little off topic but you know that's my personal opinion mm-hmm. on how people these days are like dressing and crap. So, yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to uh, talk to my mom. But I'm back now. Uh, she gave like a 50 essay, <laughs> and I gave like. I think we're done with questions because we've literally been, like, here for 20 minutes. Oh, God, guys, (laughs) I'm so sorry. I did not realize how long this video is. Thanks for watching the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And Yeah. I love you guys, and I'm out. Want to stay with me? Mm Mm-mm. Peace!